Basically, from sun up to sundown, um, I, I was out in the shop uh, trying to get it done. Basically, um, and you have a small shop in comparison to some of the other shops that we see on television. Yeah, it's exactly like I say on the YouTube channel. It's not the shop that builds the cars; it's the hands. You, know, you can have the biggest shop in the world, and I can build the exact same car in a square box. Let's get let's get back to your beginnings. Have you always been a car guy? I have, as a young person. You know, we always look up to the guy who's got the cool car. Basically, you know, I was that guy who always wanted to have a nice car. I just couldn't afford it. Now, are you from? No, are you from where you are? I am. I am from where I am. <laughs> <laughs> we all are. Yeah. We're from here. <laughs> We're from here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I lived in uh, Canning, Nova Scotia, all my life. I never moved. Never went anywhere. Uh, never had the, the means to. I just had to make ends meet. Uh, basically, that's where what I say is uh, build with what you have, what you got. Do the best you can and work on will and want. I got a lot of will and want, so basically that's how it started. And and how old were you when you started building customers? Now I met Gene Winfield in 2008. Gotcha. I, I worked on cars before that, but it was always to clean them up, take the rust off, and put them back in the way they were, and go from there. But when I met Gene, he made a sail panel on a Riviera, a piece of round rod. A sheet of metal, and I was saying, I like that. I can do that. I can do that. And uh, it just went from there. It just took off. Well, we're truly amazed at your talent. Well, thank you. You really are a very talented guy. And the visions that you have, uh, I don't know where they come from, but man, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll eat whatever you're eating. <laughs> oh, cool. yeah. well, I'll, I'll tell you, like, what you have, what I have around me is where the vision usually ends or goes. Um, I use what I have, so basically, if I have something, looking at the things I have, how can I get these together, or how can I do this. Resourceful. Yeah, I, I try not to open a catalog to buy something. Right. I, I always think first, can I make it? Can I or do it? I have it here in the shop? Yeah, already? exactly. And, uh, I, I, that's the way I work. Yeah, but you still got to have a certain amount of creativity and, and, and a vision. When you look at something. I used to do a lot of photography with cars and stuff, and, and that was, it was really easy enough, particularly once we went to 
individual film to technically get a good picture. But the composition and the idea of how you're going to frame it, and, and so you've got to have a certain amount of creativity that a lot of us don't have to be able to do the things you do. Okay. Or at least see what you want. Yes, but um, like I tell everybody, like as a person, if you, what kind of person you want to be, you, you watch other people and you take from them where you want to be and you become your own person. Yes. And what I do is I take from everybody else what everybody else did with their parents. And I take what I like and I throw away the rest. And then I, basically when I'm building something, I generally know what I like and what I don't like. Right. So that's what I do. If on the YouTube page and I say, take what you like, throw away what you don't. Sure. I've been showing cars since 1977. Yes. And um, uh, one of the things that I learned at my first auto rama that I showed the car at was, man, I like the way that guy did that. Mm -hmm. And I'll take that vision and I'll say, but I want mine to be just a little bit different than that. You go from there. That's what you're talking about. Exactly. You just move it around just a little bit, yeah. change it up a little bit, and make it yours. Exactly. Uh, uh, I've, very a simple plane guy. I don't like a lot of stuff on my car. I like a good set of wheels on it. I don't like a lot of flames and all that other stuff. And, we, and, and there were very few people that were doing that when I started in 77. And that's really kind of the same thought process that you have. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Steal from the other guys. <laughs> well, well, whatever works for you. Well, creativity. What, what, what on the automobile has not been done? Well, that's right. What, what has not been done? I'm like, sure there's know, some things. I mean, mm -hmm. let, let's, I mean, 24 inch wheels. Well, they made 30 inch wheels back in the 20s, you know what I mean? They yeah. already had them like a car. Um, it's like, for example, King Big's door handles. They were done in the, in the 60s and 50s, you know what I mean? Like, it's all been done. So basically, we're taken from the past and make it the future. You, 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 mentioned, you mentioned electric. Is there any plans or visions for electric? Do something? I, I, I would do something. I would do something like that for sure. Um, it's just kind of not available to me yet. You know, you know it's not available for me. Um, and also, I've been talking to a few people about the electric cars. And, you know, a lot of people from Nova Scotia come to, say, Florida for home snowbirds, I guess. Yeah, right. Um, it would take them a month to get to Florida because <laughs> they, they have to charge up. You know, or a real line extension cord. Yeah, one of the two. Exactly. Like so, it's 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 odd where we're going. I mean, where what people think. I would build like a car for sure. If you need an alternator, a rebuilt alternator, where do you have to go in your neck of the woods to go? Is it, if you have one locally? We have uh, a tractor dealership that there's, a, there's usually a couple guys that can rebuild alternators. So you just take it there and rebuild it for you. And basically, I would take an alternator off something else and make a bracket and make it work. Yes. Yeah. There, you have, there's a show, and I, don't, I can't remember the name of it, but there's another Canadian show where these guys are really out in the woods, and they have nothing, so whatever it is that they need, they go to a junk pile yeah. in the back of somebody's house and rummage through that and make it work. Maybe it's Alaska, I'm not sure, but uh, whatever the case may be. So that's kind of what you've been doing. I, I, I do a lot of that. Yes, I do. Like I take cars from other cars. I, I marry cars on top of cars. I cut cars in half. I, I just try to keep it interesting. But like when I say, if I cut a car in half, we did a chattel app, it's called. Um, <laughs> we, we cut it in half and made a two-door uh, two roadster out of it. I used the back Sweet. window on the front because the back window was shorter, it just looked nicer. But I took the, the Thunderbird, you know, Thunderbird's a two-seater roadster car. Why not make the Cadillac look like that? So I just chop it in half and kind of give it that short look and it really just, turns. Just chop it in half. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where, where, where did you learn, learn your cutting and welding skills? Um, through failure. Really? Yeah. That's how self-taught. Learned, that's how I learned everything. Yeah, through failure. Yeah. I've messed up a lot of stuff. Um, basically. As we all have. Well, yeah. Um, that's how you learn. It's failure. If you, if you don't fail, you're not learning. Because well, there's no learning process in, in winning all the time. Failure is how you learn. But um, basically, uh, when I'm welding, stuff like that, if I, if I make a, a problem area, or I call it a boo-boo, <laughs> Bob Ross would say a happy little tree, when I make a wrong cut, I will I will grab a coat hanger and a make welder. I do that a lot. And that it's just something that you necessity, you know. I, I need to fill that big hole, but I want to keep going forward after I've just you know messed something up. Let me overcome this. To yeah, the I, that's that's what I find that I'm really good at is overcoming things because I can build something very quick. Like I can 
make a car into a truck in less than 30 days by myself. It's not, you know, I, I do it. What do you have in the shop today? I'm doing a 35 four-door Dodge car and turn it into a pickup. And I've done, I've got 12 days in it and I've got it almost left. I'm making the box, I made the cab, I made basically everything. It's going to be like a four-door truck? No, two-door, just made a two-door pickup out of it. I chopped the back of it off, took the back window and put it on the back of the car, or the back of the truck now. I made the, the back cab corners itself, the upper cab corners out of the trunk. I made my, made the quarters and the rocker, the cab corners from scratch, made the rockers from scratch. And I basically, that's what I do on YouTube every day, is I fab that stuff in real time to show people how it's done. So basically I do, one fabrication move per day in an hour. So if Bob Ross, Bob Ross paints a picture in an hour, I make sure, or try to make sure, that I can make the complete cab corner in an hour, from cutting it to fitting it to welding it, to show how it's done. Without practicing and rehearsing the thing, cutting corners. corners, you just do it all right there in the hour. Exactly. So basically I'm trying to show people what I can do in real time so they know what's going on. Like we don't cut nothing, we don't fake nothing. If I make a mistake, it's called reality. Uh, or a boo -boo. Yeah, <laughs> or a boo -boo. happy little children. So when you say doing it in real time, I mean, are you live streaming it or are you recording it and then? We, we record every day. Okay. Um, Jolene films me every day. We've been doing it for two years now, every day. I haven't missed wow. a day. And we just build cars. So last month I took a four-door Pontiac turned it into a two-door coupe with fades on it and I French the headlights and, and did the whole body. And now we're doing a truck. We'll have that done in a couple of days and then we're going to move on to something else. We just continuously build it. Well, so this is with your team also. No. Or literally just you. Just me. You are the team. Well, no. Kind of Jolene, well. Jolene's the team. I'm, I'm just the guy that builds the carrots. And, and I um, asked her if she's got a Christmas shopping done and she said no. <laughs> well, we, we work quite a bit. We work every day. Like, we film every day. We don't take off Saturday, Sunday. Every day is the same. We film every day, and uh, we like it. What is this kind of like a holiday for you to come down here and do this show? Basically, yeah. But we're still working, you know. I mean, yes, we're still working. Yeah. yeah. But we, we, uh, what can I say? I think we're revolutionizing the car world. Uh, in, in in our world on social media, uh, social media is kind of I don't want to say, say, but it's taking over, really. Let's face it. It is. We, we uh, whether everybody knows it or not, we get more views than the Discovery and all the car shows put together. Wow, nice. So well, that basically, was, yeah, um, no, totally. I, I, we, you know, we are the Kardashians of the car world. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe part of that I can go yeah. with, but the other part I can't. <laughs> well, okay, okay, we got town. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How, how did you get discovered? Who, who, how did the whole television thing get going? Because if it weren't for the television thing, you wouldn't be here, we wouldn't yeah. know about you. Nothing. Well, I met this lovely lady named Jolene, and um, she was younger than me, obviously, <laughs> and a lot more good looking. And uh, when I met her, I, I wanted to get, into, get her into what I was doing, and uh, I asked her if she would like me to go to her car. Well, what kind of car would she like? And I said, you, you find out what kind of car you like, and I'll build it for you. And that's kind of like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so she come back to me with um, Ralph Lawrence uh, Bugatti, the forty million dollar Bugatti. So I made a <laughs> good choice, Johnny. <laughs> so very good choice. So, so I I built the car. Um, it's in her it's home. Um, I did it within four or five months. I built the body, all that sort of stuff. Um, I had a chassis sitting there. I've never finished it. Um, but we're, we're kind of working right now. But we're car people. We never finish. Yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, really <laughs> but so I, I built her this car, this Bugatti, and I think it kind of, I don't know, kind of hit people's imaginations that, wow, someone that can do that, make it that quick. And, and I've built cars before that. I built the Green Velvet, the car that you sit in the front, the engine's in the back. And, um, it's kind of, you know, when you're looking for somebody that can build something you know, on social media, that's where they go nowadays. To look for these people, they probably found me uh, building Julian's car. Yeah. And, they, and you fit their time frame, be able to do it quick. Yeah. And you fit their production cycle. Well, well, they learned that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
kind of, um, it's like, it's like the production company say, can you build, can you do it three to four days? I can't build a character in five days. Like, that's unrealistic. Like, it's really unrealistic. But in the end, we did. And <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so proud of being able to say that I've done that. Yep. We all know how long it takes to put mud on a car, make something. Sure. I was pulling stuff out of my brain, putting it on metal, and filling it, painting it, and having it done, and just like something else. Even though it made me mad, Chad. <laughs> uh, <he did> <laughs> Were you bad, Chad, before? No. I was quite bad as a young person. Yeah. Not proud of it, but I learned from it, right? Yep. You learned from it. And, and like the old boy, I, I, I bought my home from it. said, boy, you can change it. I don't know when you can, can, can stop that. You're allowed to change it. Yeah. And you. Uh, yeah, I've, I've taken um, some thought and some reflection and changed my life for the good. I don't always have to be bad. You got a little help. I do, yeah. <laughs> a lot of help. Yeah, Jolene's fantastic. It, it's nice to have someone in your life that can let you know what they want or what they need. Um, you know, to run around with a relationship with your head cut off and not have for some person in your partner not tell you what they need and what they want to what they expect. You. Exactly. And uh, Jolene was that person to be able to tell me exactly, don't treat me that way, I'm going to be treated like this. So I know that Jolene is my queen, it's her name, Queen Jolene, and I treat her that way every day because I want, I want Jolene. And uh, I show you respect, and uh, you know it goes, you show it, and then you earn it, and then you get it back. And nothing is given. Right. Right. So and so she was like in your part of the country. Yes, ten yeah. minutes away. Oh, okay. So, 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 so an easy date night. Yeah. <laughs> in a Bugatti. <laughs> in a Bugatti. <laughs> yeah. It's going really well. The Bugatti thing. We're have doing videos on the on the veneer and the wood. We're doing videos on the interior. The ostrich. We're doing videos on how I'm putting it together. You know, we just we did the frame on. Uh, we did the frame on. Uh, I sandblasted it. I filled it from head to toe and painted it. Well, a lot of people didn't know that you would put fill on the frame. Basically, if you want it smooth and shiny, that's, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. 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 Is, but, is, is your home near the shop, or is it all one big uh, property? Or? Our home is two minutes from the shop. You just walk up the door, go to the shop in the, in the back of the yard, and then nice. So it's all on top. We our our. Overhead is Jolene's phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. It's, it is. And the commute time costs you nothing. Yeah. We, we spend nothing on to get to work. Um, we, we live where we work. Our phone bill, Jolene has made it. She's the production manager. She's the editor. She's the she's everything. She's the boss. She's the boss. <laughs> I just want to do what I love to do. And um, she nice. helps it. And, and we're able to make a living. And I must tell people out there, there's a living in you know, being a, uh, what do they call that? Uh, internet. Celeb. Um, YouTuber. Yeah, there's there's money in that. There is. It's you know, good. We get paid for Facebook and Twitter. We do get monetized and we get paid to more. We're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> so. Well, you know what? That's what Jolene would help you. Jolie, well, <laughs> uh, does she have her own consulting company? <laughs> not yet. No, but she has a, a business degree, do you not? A commerce degree and all that stuff. She's a smart lady, a um, hell of a soccer player, basketball player, very talented, and twice as good looking. <laughs> you drink a lot. We're well, well done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know those Canadians, not Larry could tell you, yeah. we, like, we like a drink now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, for sure. Well, well uh, that's how I got the name Green Goblin. I used to sell moonshine cream pop. Oh, yeah, you would turn it to the Green Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. See, we're learning things here, and I'm sure that your viewers are, too. At your local grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't from the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> now, with your welding skills, I'm sure that you, that, you use that a time, too. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Listen, it's a real uh, honor and pleasure to see you guys and meet you, and uh, we hope to uh, stay in touch. All right. All right, we'll do that. Bad Every Chat and Bad Chat Customs. How, how do people get a hold of you? You look up on YouTube, Bad Check Chat. Check us out on YouTube. Bad Chat Customs. Yes. And if bad building with Bad Chat. It's just Bad Chat. Or it's it just it? Bad Chat. Yeah. Bad Chat. Gotcha. Also, take what you like and throw away what you got. I got that. There you go. I got that. Right. But mm -hmm. let's go put it up on our Facebook page. It's yep. Bad. Bad Chat.
Bench in. Bench, just bench in. Yep. Okay. Because that works. Brett, thank you. No problem. Really Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you, Larry and Wade, for bringing And children, Julie, thank, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Yes. And you'll see her later on. She's over there filming. So well, he's taking her shopping again. <laughs> is that what it is? I think so. No, Larry's going to have to dump them off over there. Well, don't go there. We've got other places for you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, time now to uh, move on. I've got a couple of uh, stories making. Honorees, auto, 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 auto